Hey, hey, so we're just going to, this is a quick tutorial just to show how we can make a trail effect from a car. Just to give you a quick sort of demonstration. This would be what it'll look like. We're gonna have a trail effect, so coming from the back of the car and eventually sort of cut off and leave around there. So, um, the first thing to do is to make our trail effect which I tried to solve a couple different things and this gave me the best result. Um, like before I had a much more sort of complex sort of track thing, but this seemed to do the job, creating a, a sort of, you know, um, an alpha mask. And then inside Unreal, bring that in and create a quick sort of material out of it. So that's just, this is our alpha mask, and then I've just given a sort of rough color for the actual effect. And, well, we don't need that for now. Now, once we've got that in, we want to create a particle system, which we will call tracks trail Fubex. Uh, that's a terrible name, but it'll do. Let's open that up. Awesome. Now, inside here, we are, first of all, let's set this to be our material. And probably give that a second to render to actually show. Any minute now? Oh, maybe because it's black, we can't actually see it. What about if we just go to view, mode, unlit. There we go, we can see it now. Um, Awesome, so next thing we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to set this to be a type data ribbon. There we go, let's see, we're starting to get a better effect from it already. All right, let's just, let's quickly sort of just go through, what we'll probably do is sort of go down top to bottom. And we'll probably mess with these as we're going actually. Um, for now, let's, let's leave that as is and the next thing we'll want to look at is our ribbon data so at the moment it's on forever loop which we'll work with that for now let's just set it to um instead of ps square set it to velocity and uh, we don't need to do any rotation or anything stuff like that with our spawn we're actually going to turn off our spawn which will stop it spawning but we'll create a new spawn system which is a spawn per unit and this will give us a more constant spawn and let's say value of one on this and we'll move you up there I think on a spawn actually we need to give it a burst of one just so it creates one initially and next on our lifetime let's increase this a whole bunch to let's just say six so that'll be quite a short trail, obviously. This depends on how long you want it to be on your screen for. If you want it to be on there for a long time, you just increase that number. And let's set the initial size down to like 15, 20, 10. Probably could have actually just done this as a, a constant. 15, 20, 10. And velocity will pretty much take everything off there. So I'm gonna set this to just minus two zero zero and uh, we don't actually need color over life um, but we do need a source so that's on trail source and this is where we're going to tell it what to follow so I'm going to say to follow my actor which is my player which is just you know my car so I'm going to say in here I'm going to type in my actor's name which is player underscore BP so now that will follow my actor and the rest should be okay. Let's save that, update it. And on my car, I've already created two particle tests for testing it. So I'm just gonna change these to my new one, which is tracks and the same on this one, tracks, compile it. And let's save it and see if it works. Okay, so the width is probably a bit much 
Um, I should probably bring the width down. But you can see we've got these tracks. Now, the problem is, you know, the ribbon trail will only be so long and it kind of looks a bit weird. We can increase that if we, let's bring this back up. Just move it over here so we can kind of see they're both at the same time. Uh, what about there? That'll do. Ah, stupid snap to screen. Okay, so in our ribbon data, let's see what happens if we increase this to 2000, which will be massively high. And then start doing some circles. It should make the track trail a bit longer. And there's a couple of sort of things we can mess with. If we go back to our spawn per unit. One of these two will affect it. I think if we do this, 10, that makes it shorter. It's reasonable, but for the effect that I'm going for anyway, I only want a, a burst. So let's go back to a mess of our required, where we've got our loop system. We've got our loop system here. So let's say I just want this to loop six times, a duration of one second will be fine. I mean, we can increase that. So we just go four and four. And let's test. So we've not, I think we need to, for this to work, we need to get that lifetime a bit higher. Let's just go 12 and 16. And let's actually, if it's gonna loop four times and actually wants it to be that, that would be four, 12, 18. So I should set that back down to one. So at the start, it's just gonna do four seconds of trail and gives a nice sort of little skid mark like that. Now, the thing to notice, I've got it set up so when I press circle, it will do a boost saw. So if I press circle, nice, it creates, it'll create a new trail at the start. But if I press boost again, it will try and drag, you see how it tried to drag it there? You've got to make sure you wait until the lifetime stops. If the if it's still alive, it tries to reconnect back up to what you're working with. So it's just a case of balancing your lifetime. We need these to be in a constant, because if you saw before, one lasted longer than the other, which could be fine, depends on what you're going for. So I'm just gonna go for 12 here. Let's mess with these again, try and get that right balance. Um, two and three should be a better mix now. At least for me, because I just want a, when you hit boost, I just want sort of like this little track to appear. So it's like, hey, look, we did some speeding at the start. Wasn't that fun? but I'd, I'll limit it to not allow it to happen again afterwards. And obviously it looks a bit weird when it sort of just fades away, but just bear that in you know, your mind when you're doing your track design. You know, by that point, you'll like to think you'll be away from it. Otherwise you could just have it for longer, or like have it on the screen for a lot longer time and you know, deal with it another way. But quite simply, that is sort of a quick, sort of simple, way I was trying to um, yeah a quick simple way of creating that effect so just it's a simple sort of texture blend with material on a mask setting and taken into a particle effect and applied to the player cool hope you found that useful